This traffic is so sick. I just want a train, god damn it. Three, two, one. Cheers, bud. Hey, mate. Strawberry kiwi. Do you want to taste it? No. Go on. In no, fact, no, go on. No. Oh, please, please do it for this. I won't, I won't put your face in it, taste it. Mm. Mm. Is it a cocktail? It's strawberry kiwi, so you, you, you know, you could, you could okay. kind of class it as a cocktail. Cheers, eh? Cheers. That does taste better than last time. Do you not think? I don't particularly remember. Oh. So do the intro now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll do the intro now. Are you ready? Hi guys. <laughs> well that went well. Keep it in because you turns down for copper. I'll probably keep that in, yeah. Why do I keep that in, Cam? Really in the game, mate. Mm -hmm. Really in the game right here. What's up, guys? Liam here. And welcome back to LSJ TV. We are training fasted today. Yeah, that's right. Because we are fitness. We are training fasted. We are LSJ fitness. Not going to tell them why you're fasted? Why? Yeah. Or, um, is, or is it just, just the fact you are fasted? I don't really know why, to be honest. It's something I do every now and then now. Like if I'm at Charlotte's. Yeah. I don't know. Figured we'd try it, right? Because Cam, the cameraman, is a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Practicing intermittent faster. Intermittent faster. You ready? You doing your hair? Okay. You ready? I think so, yeah. Okay. Oh. So, Cam has been intermittent fasting as a technique to reduce calories, etc, etc. And so, we just kind of ended up fa training fasted today. Mm -hmm. It's given us a good title though, Cam. Yeah. Given us a good title. Clickers, betas. Yeah, yeah. Bit of, bit of the old clickbait. If you are excited, like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that jazz. You ready? Yeah. Let's do this. So, Cam, 
Talk to me about training fasting. It was good fun. I don't like it. I personally don't like it. No? No. I so I think you and me are under the same impression of like we have to eat before training, otherwise my weights are gonna go down so much. Um Get placebo. Yeah. And then mm. I did it once at uni and I was like, it's actually no change. So it is literally just a mental battle, isn't it? Mm. And because you, you can like easily suppress hunger when you're not thinking about it, i.e. if you're pushing weights and you're thinking about that. Had a bit of caffeine then, too. Yeah, then you're not actually hungry. Only later on in this session we've been getting hungry because yeah. we were kind of just stood around. It was very, we, ha- we have had a very stop-start kind of session, probably the worst stop-start in terms of just talking that yeah. we've ever actually had. Yeah. So one, we're kind of getting cold, and two, well... You just stop thinking about what you're actually doing and start getting hungry. Think about pull-ups. You're still doing the same. Things. I feel like I did more pull-ups. Exactly. And the because weight of that is you might be lighter. Yeah, yeah. genuine, genuinely light. <laughs> few, maybe like, a pound or two lighter. Yeah, well, I actually made like five hundred grams, and then suddenly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Deadlifts was like interesting that you just brought them out of nowhere. That was good fun. I enjoyed that. Well, we kind of just felt like doing them. Um, Cam really likes them. I, I'm not a massive fan of them at all, really. Never have been. That's why you don't see me do them very often. But we figured we'd throw them in. And I definitely feel like if I'd have eaten, that would have helped me with that. On the basis that yeah. oh. I've had more glycogen in the muscles, you know? And actually, my, I, f- I feel like my endurance goes f- a lot faster. Whether that's in my head or not, I don't know. I don't think it is. Because regardless of whether I take pre-workout, whether I don't, uh, if I've eaten or not, that makes the biggest difference to my strength. If I've had, you know, like a bowl of oats an hour or so before I train, I feel full, I feel ready to go and train, I'll take some pre-workout, you know, I've got the, I've got the carbs in me, I've got the pre-workout as well. Together, boom. Nice. Do you ever eat so much that you like you feel sluggish though? No. I've done that, no. I used to. I used to before I kind of learned what I was just doing. how much to eat doing. Before. Yeah, because like I know that if I have let's say a rice dish, let's say spaghetti bolognese or chili with rice or you know, my tuna rice and beans meal that I have all the time. Do you just gag I don't like tuna, yeah. You don't like tuna? I like like a tuna steak, but tuna I tea yeah, is yeah, better. No. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. But anyway, if I have a rice meal, I know that that is going to sit well with me as opposed to having something like pasta, you know, which will sit a little bit heavier kind of in my stomach and um, won't, won't help me as much for my workout. I can quite happily have, you know, a spaghetti bolognese for dinner and have it with pasta. But if I had something like, if I had pasta before my workout as lunch, let's say, and I trained at 2pm or whatever, then it, why are you laughing? If I have spaghetti bolognese with pasta, spaghetti is pasta. <laughs> <laughs> than just spaghetti bowl. Like, <laughs> imagine, know, like, just just imagine you, <laughs> like an actual spag bowl, plus an extra bowl of like penne pasta. Got this spag bowl with a solid <laughs> spag, mate. And a packet of rice. Oh, obviously, mate. Yeah. Cool beans as well. You guys see what I'm saying, though? If I have a rice dish, I know that that will sit a lot better than with better with me than something like a pasta dish. But to be honest, my, my favourite kind of go-to pre-workout meal has been oats as of the last kind of two, three months. Since I've been dieting, really. Just sits well with me. Filling. It? Yeah. Like, correctly I mean, I wouldn't know, I didn't do it, but I'm assuming. Just correctly filling. Correctly filling? Yeah, like it's, it's a sweet spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you, you up too mix much. in some, like, protein so it tastes, like, nice and sweet yeah. and stuff. But then you... no, I really don't care for it. <clears throat> love it. I think. Absolutely love it. As far as, like, carbs go, such a waste. Oh. Today we train fasted. I personally don't like it. On the basis that I don't feel energized, I don't feel full, I don't feel ready to train. 
I also prefer training just as a general rule later in the day because I feel a lot looser, I feel a lot more awake, I feel a lot more ready. Not that being awake was an issue, like we start training at like what, 10 a.m. or like 10.30. So I was awake, but you get my point. When, like, when you text me, I was actually just having my morning coffee though. Oh really? Yeah, so it's pretty good timing actually. Mm. Bit of, bit of the caffeine. Yeah, just down that, come over and then just down some total war. <laughs> Actually, on the point of timings, mm. I prefer to train like in the morning because I think it starts your day right. Mm. So I'm usually quite energised, got the release of endorphins, so it's just a better day and you feel looser throughout the day as well. So when you're sat down, mm. like at a desk, it's actually Office like troubles. not as bad. Yeah, mm. I don't, never find it as bad. Like I did it when I was at work, I did it during the library this year. Like it's just it's nicer to have been like loosened up than it is to be tight because then you do just feel tired it's hard to get out of being tired sometimes yeah but if you've yeah. gone to the gym it's like oh yeah pretty buzzing yeah see i'm kind of the opposite of that to be honest because if i had to set an alarm and get up and uh, to train and all of this like it bec then becomes a bit more of a chore sort of thing so i'd rather have it as a treat after work is done if assume yeah. a, assume a kind of normal nine to five, like I probably I'd rather train afterwards, but I wake up like a granddad. I literally wake up like stiff as a bone, stiff as a bone. Is that the saying? Stiff as a block, stiff as a board, stiff as a board. <laughs> I wake up very tight. I I don't know what it is what it is about my body. It just kind of cramps up overnight, and um, I don't. Uh, loosen up very quickly. Even if I do a nice steady kind of warm up, I do a nice um, long kind of active warm up that's going to help me with my workout, I just don't loosen up in the same way. But regardless of what I think, I do tend to hit the numbers in the morning. Yeah. You've expended less energy mm, throughout the day. Also, Another opinion of mine of we're training late that it gives you all day to make excuses to not go. Yeah, because that's not an issue for me though. Really, yeah, because like, you're like you live for it. But yeah. as a as a layman, if you're like waking up to go and do it, yeah, you're going to do it as opposed to oh I've done work might go gym. It's a lot easier the second you get home and you sit down just and for so a quick, quick just rest. Yeah, you, know, you can just up. sit there till ten and then go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do get that, so I suppose it would be better for the majority of the time to get up and do it. We trained fasted. Yeah. And it was epic. It was pretty good, yeah. Epic. Yes, yeah, epic, yeah. <laughs> Greatest in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I always like filming clips like that with Cam because I, uh, at times, can sugarcoat things. Try and uh, say that something is, um, you know, either good or bad or whatever. Cam doesn't do that. Oh look, a monster. So, should you train fasted? Well, the answer to that is, it really does not matter. The answer to that is, do you want to? Because unless you are a pro bodybuilder or like a, a professional athlete or something, it's really not gonna matter that much. And yes, it might matter in your head and you know, glycogen and uh, carbs and you know, science stuff means that you're not as strong, but if that's the only time that you can work out on that day, then do it, just get it done. Like you're only really gonna notice a difference if like myself, you're kind of used to training mid to late afternoon and then all of a sudden you're training at 8 a.m. and you've not eaten, that's when you're gonna feel a difference. If you are used to getting up at 7 a.m. and going to the gym for an hour, that's what you are used to, you have no kind of comparison, then just kind of carry on doing that, you know? There's no issue, you're, you, might, you may notice a difference when you go later on in the evening, let's say 7 p.m. rather than 7 a.m., then you probably will make, notice a difference. But unless you are consistently doing one thing and then making a rapid change, that's when you're gonna notice a massive difference. 
but it's kind of something that I'm not necessarily warming to because I still don't really enjoy it, but it's something that I'm kind of getting used to because I feel like I, I have to, you know? So let me know your thoughts on training fasted, guys. Do you enjoy it? Do you not? Do you do it? Do you not? What are your reasons why? Stick them down in the comment section down below. And that is it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do me a favour, drop a like, comment down below, share, subscribe. What else have I left out? Nothing. All of that stuff, all of that YouTuber stuff that really helps me out. Get that momentum going, you know? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I um, had lots of nice messages, just like kind of out of the blue, random nice messages, like inspirational kind of things. So thank you, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. I really, really do. It helps me out a lot on the days where I don't feel motivated. So thank you. Together, we will grow, and I will see you guys in the next one.